Hello and welcome to Super Smash Brothers League, uh, Season Six, Week Five. I'm Snuffy Sam, and I'm joined today by Malachi. And yeah, um, we're in the thick of it now. We're uh, about halfway through the main season. Um, yeah. And it's uh, interesting to see. We still have uh, one undefeated team. We still have one winless team. Uh, I'm Which... curious to see. Yeah, uh, I mean, pretty soon. I mean, ho hopefully Arsenal will, will get their wins, and hopefully Phalanx will, will get a few losses. Because mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, yeah. I, I mean, we, we knew this season was going to be a little unbalanced, uh, so it could be con yeah. considering, like, how, you know, like, if, if you got lucky and picked the, the correct AI in your first test, or if you did more tests, then you're going to have uh, an advantage over the teams that didn't get uh, as many opportunities, uh, didn't have the time. So. Yeah, and I mean, some of it's also just as t teams made swaps that may or may not have been in their best interest, mm -hmm. and sometimes you know what when, when you also combine that with the massive changes we have, it, it is not surprising that some teams are still struggling, and some teams are excelling. Yeah. Uh. So, but despite all that, you know, it's not been too unbalanced this is about where you normally oh. see things for uh this point in the yeah. season yeah uh, uh, i mean mo most teams um, i mean it it's a fairly small range like we still have you know bash sisters with 12 ko's in, in the red zone i mean but it, you know it, it it's still holding pretty well like we, we don't have a bunch of teams at zero and four and a bunch of teams at, at four and zero, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah, but uh, I guess let's just get started. Mm-hmm. Getting into match one, we have Classic Mode Champions versus the Third Wheels. Uh, Classic Mode Champions are two and two with 17 KOs. Third Wheels are one and three with 14 KOs. Uh, so they're definitely looking to get another win. Yeah, I mean, and it's always fun when these two teams collide because we're the opposite of each other, just by definition. And that's true. Uh, these are uh, mutually exclusive teams. I mean, I mean, Banjo could have been in Melee, but they didn't. Uh, so, yeah. here we are. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, no, like, both teams, um, we, we both had our struggles, but we've also both had um, bright spots of hope. You know, Mario is looking more competent than he has since probably season one or two. And that, to be fair, I don't remember him being super competent then either. Mm -hmm. You know, Link, Link is still, you know, carrying... He, he's still trying to... T he He's still working on his tryout for Team Muscle over in Dragon <laughs> Ball Z League, carrying this team on his back. Um, Third, third wheels, you know, they, they, they've they had good things from Bayonetta and uh, Banjo. I mean, and even Joker is, is still fairly good on that Ender Dragon build of his. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes it's enough to get him across the finish line. Sometimes it's not. Yeah, but so. I guess uh, we'll see how uh, these two teams handle things uh, in the match. Yeah, let's go. Right, Last of the Champions versus Third Wheels. Yeah. Uh, classic Mode Champions starting off with Mario, nicknamed Bob, because it's Bob the Builder. Uh, running Attack Plus 2, Defense Plus 2, Support 3, Gold Mario, Blathers AI, uh, versus Bayonetta running Attack 5, Defense 1, Support 2, Halberd Tifa AI. Mm -hmm. Nicknamed Jen. I believe Jean is the name of the Jean. the character who this costume is of. Um, yeah. Okay, Mario starting off with some some good comboing, as, as he should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the ooh big hit with the smash ooh. attack. I, I mean that that is the thing. It won't do knockback because of uh, Mario's called Mario. At least uh, until he's at higher damage, it won't. Yeah, but uh, the problem is. She she's still got a hit. Ooh, that is Ooh. a strong spike taking out Bayonetta. Oh man, that was an early kill too. Yeah, and I that... was I I was not expecting that, especially with Halberd. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, and that that is going to be uh, uh, rough for uh, third wheels. Bayonetta is, has been one and of their best characters on the team. Good, uh, it's going to be good difficult Lord, for them Mario. to Mario, look at that <laughs> damage. Jeez. Uh, Sonic not doing uh, too hot currently. <laughs> Um, Grand yeah, let me read off his build before, uh, never mind, he died. Let me read off his build anyway. Sonic, nickname Shadow, Attack 4, Support 3, Miltank, Nico, Fire, Lindus, AI. Um. Alright, Ryu, already up to, uh, over 80. Oh, 80? I, I mean, he started with 30, but... Yeah. Oh, wow, that did not kill. I was expecting that to kill. Um, um but yeah, uh, Mario, uh, very quickly, like... I think he only needs to get... He, he That might have gotten him gold. Yeah, uh... Yeah. I, I, th I think because, I mean, he's dealt 100... A little over... Okay, 130 damage to Ryu. Uh, so, yeah, I believe he dealt uh, over 150 combined he, to Bayonetta and dealt, Sonic. Yeah, he dealt 75 or 76 to Bayonetta and like 130 to yeah. Sonic. So, yeah, he went gold. Good job, Mario. I think that's his first gold ever. Or oh, at least the be. first one in a very long time. Um, um, yeah, and now we have uh, Banjo coming in. Uh, what is uh, Banjo running? Yeah, Ban. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't even get a chance to read off Ryu's build either. Um, Banjo is running a uh, nickname Polar, running attack two, defense two, support three, great fairy, balloon fighter, Gigas AI. Yeah, and. Okay, <laughs> he activates the uh, Great Fairy. Doesn't Great fairy. Banjo doesn't get the Great Fairy cursed? Uh, but he no, he there. doesn't. But the fact that um, Mario he didn't start with a handicap. Mar Mario t just took him up to a hundred. Yeah. Uh, dear Lord, what did you guys do to piss off Mario? <laughs> like, like I. Um, I mean, I mean it's Mario. His, and now we're on his circuit. Okay, uh, Mario's taken yeah. out. Uh, Banjo's Finally. almost at his final smash, uh, but still, I think that was that was another hundred damage to to uh, hundred fifty damage to to uh, Banjo and Kazooie. In fact, so I think Mario went diamond. He may have. It's gonna be very close if he didn't. Um, but in comes Roy, running a uh, nickname Link Light, um, running attack five support to Azura Crate AI. Bounces him um, off the Banjo's... wall for a strong amount of damage, but yeah. uh, <laughs> Benja's out of Wonder Wings and he gets taken out. Uh, it is all up to yep. Joker, and Joker is the uh, highest damaging and highest KO character on third wheels right now. So if anyone can do it... Yeah, if anyone can do it, uh, Joker can. Um, Roy being taken out, uh, Luigi coming in, nicknamed Player 2, attack, running attack 3, support 4, Celebi, Waddle D AI. Um... Yeah, um, I I think Joker could do it. I, I don't, with, with what we have seen from the rest of Classic Mode Champions, I don't think so. Like, you've still got Link in the background, and he is now without a build. Um, just to make sure I've read it, uh, Joker, nicknamed Jester, running Defense 4, Support 3, Ender Dragon, EVAI. Um, yeah, I, I think, uh, <laughs> oh, well, he takes out, ooh. he takes out Luigi. He, he's taken out. Uh, he's taken out uh, two characters uh, already. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna blame Luigi too much for that. Like, I, I was expecting Luigi to to finish up his time on our map. I, I was not expecting him to spend the entirety. Of, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh, uh, the final smash oh. hits. I don't think it will kill just from uh, the knockback, that but it might hit him into a weird spot for recovery. So we'll see. Yeah. That, uh, no. no, Yoshi can recover from that. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, I, I was expecting Luigi to die on Mario Circuit. I, I was just expecting him to start on this map. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, yep. so, but, uh, jo Joker just trying to char desperately to charge up Iron Sen so he can get a kill with a... No, does not kill with his up smash, but uh, yep. uh, that's how tall the yeah, stage is. Uh, but... yeah. Ooh, the yeah. uh, side B is going to do a lot of da curse damage. And yeah, that up Ooh. smash takes out uh, Yoshi. Uh, in comes Dark Link. We are now even in stocks, technically. <laughs> yeah, technically. Uh, Link just needs to get the one smash from Link, and I think this will be done. Yeah, especially since Joker just lost Arsene, which means he lost access to a few good defensive options. Yeah. 
um, Link running his normal uh, attack four, support three, halberd, goal again. Um, just built for damage. Oh, he makes all that. <laughs> that if if Joker pulls off this reversal, it is the most I will be reversal. so pissed at Link. <laughs> I, I will be so pissed at Link at this point because oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, Joker it's across the stage <clears throat> takes Link takes out Joker. Uh, wow, I mean, what a reversal though. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, Joker doing very good at the end. I mean, it, it was just too high a uh, wall to climb. Uh, although I think uh, Link was starting to consider giving it to him. But <sighs> yeah, uh, good job. Uh, third wheels like that was uh, ban Banjo coming back. Um, I don't know what y'all did to piss off Mario. I, I, I was not expecting a diamond performance from Mario. Um but yeah, good luck on the rest of your season. Yeah, um, at least at least they got four KOs. It yes. wasn't look like, looking like they were going to get that for a while, so at least they got four KOs. Yeah. Um, on to the next match. Yeah, on to the ma on to the next match. And for match two, we have Team Retro versus Team Phalanx. Uh, Team Retro is at a respectable 2-2 two and two with 18 KOs, uh, so they've, uh, yeah, I mean, both of their losses have been, uh, 4 KOs, uh, mm -hmm. which is, uh, very good. I mean, except for the, the two losses, but, you know, respectable record. Uh, they oh, yeah. are going up against, uh, the only undefeated team in the league, Team Phalanx. That is 4-0. Yeah. With, uh, Just... of course, 20 KOs. Yeah, very strong team this season uh, with Team Phalanx. Um, you know, like, so some of that ha has been from really hard hitters like DDD and Hero. But, I mean, every single, even then, like, even if you consider them the standouts, like, every single one of their characters is a very strong contender. Um, you know, Retro has a hard fight ahead of them. Um I, I do think they could potentially pull it off. We, we've seen some of their characters do great things. Uh, whether or not it's enough to get over the, the hill that is Phalanx, I, I don't know. We'll have to get into the match and see. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Team Retro versus Team Phalanx. Mm -hmm. Yep, Retro starting off with Piranha Plant, nicknamed uh, Noki. Uh, running Attack 1, Defense 3, Support 3, Gold Mario, Lindus AI. Phalanx starting off with Ike, uh, nicknamed Uhtred, uh, running Attack 4, Support 3, Gold Mario, Crade AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Uh, very similar ideas on both sides. Start out with the armor, uh, make, make the other team deal with it. So we this, this will probably go quick. Yeah, um, well, I mean, it'll go quick, but also, I mean... It'll also go quick because we're on WarioWare, which has one of the shortest blast zones in the uh, game. But, uh... Fair. Oh, and there you go. See? There Just a little, little yep. left type to take out Piranha Plant. But yep. he managed and to comes... take uh, Ike over 70, I guess. Yeah. In comes Dr. Mario, running Attack 3, def uh, Defense 1, Support 3, Halberd, Rock Mario, Medusa AI, nicknamed uh, Johnny Sims. Yes, and uh, he just needs to hit one of those uh, tornadoes. Oh, or a down smash. Oh, Takes out Ike. There but he goes. still 60 damage on the board. Uh, in comes yeah. DDD. Yeah. Uh, does in not reflect the Gordo. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, DDD, nicknamed Clappa, running attack 5, support 2, Albert, EVAI. In comes Samus, nicknamed Stainless, running attack 4, support 3, Polar Bear, Might, EVAI. Very similar here. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, uh, bo both have uh, builds that uh, slow down their movement in, in some way. Uh, although, uh, Samus gets armor out of it, whereas DDD just gets very high stats. Yeah, and we, we can see that already reflected in their damage. Um, although, uh, DDD is going to need to be careful. Like, uh, on, on this map, oh. uh, we could... Oh, never, never mind. mind. Yeah, does not get to use that final smash. But in comes uh, Peach. In in comes Peach, running a uh, nickname Luna, running Attack 5, Defense 2. 
EVAI. So no, uh, no, no stat, nothing but stats here. Yeah. Uh, okay. That that was not. That that should not. Okay. It's, it's, using the side V into the late hit of DDD's dash attack uh, is a bit uh, lame, but. Now we are going to, uh... Uh... Arena Ferrix? Uh, oh, does not make it back. Yep. Does <laughs> okay. not make it back. Marth, uh, nicknamed Zane, running attack 5, support 2, Azura, Create a I, uh, and, and he's Hero. Gone. Yep, and he's gone. Hero, uh, running attack 3, defense 4, Create a I, nicknamed Finnan. Uh, yeah. Um, congratulations to Phalanx. Yep. Um, yeah, so pretty dominant match from, uh, Phalanx. Um, yeah, I, I think WarioWare might have been a mistake for Retro. I know they've got strong yeah. KO characters, like they've got Dr. Mario, who's obviously able to get, uh, a nice KO on Ike. But when you're up against Phalanx, who has, you, you know he has DDD, you know they have DDD, you know they have Ike. Uh, it's gonna be... It's it's a little tough to to put those two characters on the stages where you, you know, it's it's reminiscent of uh, it's not not quite as extreme, but it's reminiscent of Flat Zone, uh, when, when that was legal for one season, where Ike would just yep. regularly get four KOs because yep. it's, he just one taps people. You, you, yeah, you got to be careful with the stages you pick when when you're up against uh, those characters. You do. And I, I, I do think this is a place where, where you know, it, it's just Smash League, you, you have that high KO power and you've got to be mindful of it. And it makes small maps undesirable for you when that happens. Yep. So. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's a shame Retro taking their, uh, the first loss where they didn't get four KOs. Uh, and Phalanx uh, going up to an undefeated 5 and 0. Oh. Yep. Uh, on to the next match. Yeah, let's do it. So for match 3, we have Team Villain versus Team Mystic. Uh, this is going to be uh, somewhat of a slobber knocker, I think. These are two uh, very powerful 3 1 teams. Yeah, I mean, the, the, these are two teams that could very easily be in contention for top of the league. Um, villains with just the sheer amount of money they have. Um, Mystic, you know, just every, you know, you've got Ganondorf, Kazuya, and Zelda on that team. And I mean, it, it's just, that that's a terrifying team. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Team Mystic, just looking at their stats... Team Mystic has five characters that are over 100 damage with over 1.0 KOs average. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that is uh, such a scary prospect to go up against. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Team Villain uh, uh, doesn't have that strong. They have three characters that are below 100 damage, but they also have three characters that are above 150 damage and two characters... Like, like Zombie, who's at 180 with two KOs average. Bowser, who, who is at 250 average damage and 1.8 KOs. So, um... Yeah. They, they definitely have uh, some strong characters <laughs> to look out for. Yep. Uh, but I guess you ready to get into it? Let's get into it. Alright, Team Villain versus Team Mystic. Uh, villains starting off with Donkey Kong, nicknamed King Kong, running attack 4, support 3, Meloetta, Rock Mario, Crystal AI. Mystic starting off with Shulk, nicknamed Albedo, running attack 4, support 3, Roxas Lindus AI. Um, should be interesting matchup between these two. Um, Shulk, I feel like, has improved, definitely improved significantly over... Uh, when, when we were running off the, the base AI. Uh, yeah, yeah, he used to be pretty... Uh, I, I wouldn't say, like, terrible, but, like, he, he would really struggle. Uh, he, he wouldn't use uh, his moves particularly well at all. He didn't have uh, good combos. Here, here's, he's a lot better at that. No, they're yeah. able to just get him use his tilts. But oh. he is taken and out by Donkey Kong. 
Yep, in comes Ganondorf, <clears throat> nicknamed Demise, running attack three, support four, Celebi, Lindus AI. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, uh... Yeah. Oh, I thought... Uh, Donkey Kong Donkey. has access to his final smash already. Uh, Ganondorf does not kill with the Volcano Kick, but Donkey Kong misses his final smash. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of surprised. I was expecting him to, to do that. Um, although, Donkey... Gandorf needs to be careful, because if Donkey Kong can easily just throw him up and there... Okay, uh, oh. <laughs> Donkey Kong... Ganondorf has access to his final smash. He just needs to press the button, and he will kill uh, Donkey Kong... There it goes. There it goes. But Gandorf already taking 200 damage. Um, and probably very unnecessarily, too. Mm -hmm. Although, if Zombie is just going to take it, I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, he, par uh, he parried, countered, uh, takes out Bowser, yeah. and uh, as a villain is a character in the lead, we have Kazuya coming in. Yeah, Kazuya, uh, nicknamed Devil, running attack one, defense two, support three, Sophus, Tifa, AI, uh, versus Zombie, nicknamed Hero Brian, running attack one, defense three, support three, Polar Bear, Victini, Tifa, AI. Um, yeah, oh, and, wow. Uh, I, <laughs> there you I, go. I, I uh, zo zombie, zombie gets taken play. out. Uh, that That's just Kazuya for you. It, it, it is, and it's what makes him so scary. Mm-hmm. And Kazuya trying to get off his uh, Rage Art. He does! Takes him up to 50 damage! Whew. And Kazuya has his final smash, but he misses. And it misses. But, but um... But, yeah, uh, like... It's just unfortunate miss, but... On King of Fighters, it... This, should, this might actually be bad for Kazuya. Because if one dark pit... Oh, uh, nick, well. nick, oh Never mind. Uh, I missed saying what his build was, but uh, in comes Ridley, nicknamed Rodan, running defense four, support three, gold Mario, tingle AI. And he and takes out Kazuya. Kazuya, yeah, and we are back to an even fight. Um, Korra, nicknamed Toru, nick, uh, running attack three, defense one, support three, Golagan, Azura, Lindus, AI. Yes, uh, she is actually the worst member of Mystic, which is uh, rough because she used to be one of their best in previous seasons, but... Uh, yeah, she's oh. been 69 average damage. Hasn't gotten a KO yet. Uh, we'll see if that it, changes. They did change her build. No, nope, it did not change. No, nope, that will not change. Uh, I, um, I think basically the same damage, too. Yep. Uh, in comes Zelda, nicknamed Hilda, running attack 4, defense 1, support 2. Soren, Shine Sprite, Crystal AI. Um, Ooh, really oh. hits with the down special. That almost never happens, and he connects to this final smash. I don't know if this will kill at that, this percent. That's going to kill. this will get the auto kill. There's no way. Yeah, it does, yeah. and you can see Samus's ship in the background for a brief second as, uh... Yeah, Zelda just deleted by Ridley. Yeah, well, that was like 70% damage in one shot. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that was Ridley's down special is one of the strongest moves in the game. I mean, it's difficult because he, like, never hits it, but he hit it there. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that, that honestly is what sealed it for them. Like... Yeah, Bowser was still in the back, but uh, honestly, Zelda could have gotten a very quick kill if Ridley was not careful, and we could have had... I, I could totally see Zelda bringing this back against Bowser. Mm -hmm. um, not likely, but it's still possible. Yeah, but Ridley but, just yeah. uh, turned on the pain train. <laughs> uh, Ooh, is... that... Yeah, uh, that, that, that so is... Much uh... Uh, and uh, just... The, the auto kill final smash uh, that yeah. just takes Zelda out, and even if it wasn't an auto kill, it probably would have taken her out on that stage. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I I don't know uh, if there's you know may, maybe uh, I mean Corin uh, probably could have been better to to uh, handle Ridley. Yeah, but, um, I mean I, I don't think other than Corin you can really say anything about the rest of the team. Like Shulk did his job. I mean, honestly, if anything, maybe you, you spend some coin to get villains off of Shadow Moses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, force Ganondorf them. also took way too much damage from Donkey Kong. He he did. He, he, he really should have just been able to use uh, an up smash to take him out. Yeah, and some of that goes back to what I was saying about Shadow Moses. Like, Ganondorf just did not understand that he could go beneath the floor and, mm -hmm. and attack from below. Um, he, he was far too interested in, in a head-on... Uh, battle and just took so much damage that was unnecessary 
and I mean, you know, just force them off Shadow Moses, and you know, make make them make villains spend that that coin to stay on there. Yeah. Uh, but um, I think that's a uh, good for good for villains. They were they were technically the underdog here with lower KOs, so uh, pulling this out of our Mystic. Uh, and on to the next match. Yeah, let's go for it. And going into match four, we have Pokemon Masters versus Team Pint Size. So, uh, Pokemon Masters are three and one with 19 KOs. If they win this, they'll be tied with uh, Team Villain. Uh, potentially uh, passing them. I, actually, yes, yes, passing them to be the uh, uh, second place team in the league behind Phalanx. So this would be pretty big for them. It would, uh, you know, get, give them some leeway, uh, make it harder for other teams to catch up, uh, get them into the uh, uh, bye week uh, moving forward. Meanwhile, Pint Size, 1 and 3 with 17 KOs. Uh, I mean, we, we have uh, seen third wheels lose, so Pint Size is in. Uh, you know, relatively safe position, uh, but yeah. But I mean, they, they still want this win. They 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 want, it, especially with Bash Sisters. It seems like their their changes are starting to bear fruit. They they want that space between mm -hmm. them. Yeah, it helps that Pine Size has a lot of KOs. That they're one in three with seventeen KOs. For reference, uh, the average team. Uh, athletes and, and classing world champions before this week has uh, two and two with 17 KOs. So the same number of KOs as Pint Size, but having one more win. So if yep. Pint Size wins, they will leapfrog over a lot of other teams. Yeah, and that that's that that's got to be the driving force for them right now. They they've been doing well. It's just always been just not quite enough. Um. To, to get those wins and that they they, they, they want to stay ahead because the super bash sisters is really on, on an upswing after last week i mean that they, they've you know pine size is gonna have to watch out yeah but i guess let's just get into it yeah uh, pokemon masters versus team pine size yeah uh pokemon masters Starting off with Lucario, nicknamed Luca, running attack one, defense three, support three, Geese Howard Lindus AI. Pint size, uh, starting off with Olimar, Olimar uh, nicknamed Cowboy, uh, running attack four, support three, Roxas Waddle D AI. Yes, uh, we are on a. Pint size went to a Funky's Shack to ban Tortimer Island, and uh, whether in anticipation of that or uh, just. As a backup map, uh, Pokemon Masters uh, have taken us to Mushroom Kingdom U. Yeah, good on good on Pint Size for banning Tortimer Island. We don't need that negativity in our lives. Yeah, uh, but um, uh, yeah. as um, Ol Olimar is uh, uh, 53 average before this week, uh, we'll see if he's able to. Uh, okay, well now now he's uh, surpassed yeah. his average. Jeez. How did how did he do 50 damage like that? I, I mean, he's just got high... Oh, well, uh, oh. don't get off the platform. Don't get off the platform. Okay. He, he, I mean, uh, he did get off the platform, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, 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 Villager, nicknamed Arnold, uh, running attack 5, support 2. Gold again, Majora's Mask, uh, create AI. So he didn't actually take damage from that. Yeah, yeah. He, he just started with 30 damage. Oh, my goodness. And he died. Um, in comes Ice Climbers, nicknamed Wobbles, uh, running Defense Force, Support 3, Gold Mario, Blathers, AI. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, if, if Pint Size loses this, you, you know exactly who to blame. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Bill, Ice Climbers get, get the kill, in comes Pikachu, nicknamed Sparky, running Attack 4, Support 3, Zapfish, Miltank, Tifa, AI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is it is rough because Olimar has had a a rough season, and he was he, he did uh, do decently well against Sicario, but Villager just getting taken out instantly in one hit is uh, yeah. That, I, mean, I mean, that's that the was... danger of having a handicap spirit, I guess. Oh, I don't even know. I'd blame the handicap spirit. I mean, 
it, it was just the size of the map. Like, L Lucario's got a lot oh of Oh my goodness. Power. Uh, oh. There goes Ice Climbers. Bye, Ice Climbers. At the very least, they did a ton of damage to Pikachu. Um, mm -hmm. And in... Oh, we have a map swap. And uh, uh, Pikachu taken out just as the map changes. Yep. Ness, uh, running, nicknamed Bound, running Attack 5, Defense 1, Support 1. Psyduck, Create AI, uh, Jigglypuff, nicknamed Puff. Running Attack 2, Defense 2, Support 3, Polar Bear, Fiora, Create AI. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, fire, fire attacks make Fiora run out faster. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, but uh, I'm pretty oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Ness. Uh, oh my goodness, that back air mm, takes out Jigglypuff. And we yeah, are Ness even in stocks. Yeah, even in stocks. Um, if Ness can keep up this damage output, that damage... Uh, Gap will close quickly. Um, the Pokemon Trainer, uh, nicknamed Leaf, running Defense Force Support 3 Gold Mario, create AI. Um, if, if Ivysaur does not get a quick kill, um, you, you, the better hope that. Uh, oh, oh wow. here comes the Pika oh. Starstorm. Uh, trying to aim it. I mean, it's a pretty big stage, but is able to get a couple hits. Oh my goodness, that takes and out kill. Charizard. Oh, man. Um, however, okay. here's the problem. In comes Incineroar, yeah. running Attack 3, Support 4, Celebi, Blathers AI, versus Kirby, nicknamed Babam, um, running Attack 3, Defense 1, Support 3, Rock Mario, Halberd, Medusa AI. Yeah, now, yeah. both of these are the top characters on their team. Um, Incineroar is 216, average damage, 2.0 average KOs. Kirby is 198, average damage, uh, 1 average KO. So, he is, a. Yeah. Uh, doesn't get a as many chances to KO, though he has been the, the closer more often than the starter, so... Uh, that, yeah, that's, he, uh, he's, generally, he's generally okay. been their closer. Oh, wow. That um, that, that could have killed Kirby if uh, Incineroar had gotten the timing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, oh, and the wow. rock, the instant rock knocks uh, Incineroar off, takes him out, and Pine Size with a strong come-from-behind victory. Yeah, awesome comeback, Pine Size. Very good job. Um, yeah, that, that was a shocker at the end with that, uh, just even matchups, uh, with Ness and Pokemon Trainer and Incineroar and Kirby. I mean, just a fantastic come from behind victory for mm -hmm. Pint Size. Yeah, and, uh, thanks to that, uh, Pint Size has, uh, at least guaranteed that they stay out of the red zone for at least one week. Yeah. Um, they, they have... Uh, for sure, uh, leapfrogged, uh, over, uh, Retro, I believe, so, uh, that, that's, uh, and, and of course, uh, Third Wheels uh, is at 1 and 4, and Arsenal at best will only be 1 and 4 after this week. So, yeah, yeah. uh, Pine Size is in a much better spot than they were two weeks ago. Yeah, they, they are in a much better spot, um, we, they're, they're, they're quite a bit safer, and, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be happy with that win. And Pokemon Masters, uh, unfortunate. I mean, at least they got four KOs, and they will, you know, they'll they'll be staying just outside of the the top zone. Um, but they're still, actually, I think they might still be ahead of Mystic, because I, I don't think Mystic got four KOs. So yeah. they Mystic they are didn't still in. Bowser, so yeah. Yeah, they they are still in third place. You know, they they're just looking for you know, villains to, to have a bad week and so they can take over them. Yeah. But, um, on to the next match. Yeah. So for match five, we have Super Bash Sisters versus the Athletes. Uh, this is... Uh, an interesting uh, matchup. Uh, Super Bash Sisters are one and three with twelve KOs. Uh, third wheels lost, so if Super Bash Sisters can win this one, then they'll be out of the red zone. Uh, meanwhile, the athletes are two and two with seventeen KOs. They're in the middle, but uh, they're not fully safe, so they definitely want to win this one as well. Yeah. I... Yeah. Uh, I mean, and the 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 crazy thing is with the way our tiebreakers work. You know, if Super Bash Sisters somehow managed to sweep, uh, they would actually be above athletes. 
Um, because of tiebreakers. Yeah, like, yeah. If they got a they five would, they zero. Would, if if they managed to get uh, the first ever five zero, um, yeah, that they would. Uh, 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 they would be at 17 KOs. Athletes would also be at 17 KOs, and they would have the tiebreaker win. So yeah, that is true. Yeah, I mean, it, but just, which kind of blows my mind because athletes are just, you know, looking at the standings, they're, they're so much higher than Bash Sisters. But it shows how important it is. Like even if you can't get the wins, get the KOs. Mm -hmm. um, I. I, I liked what we saw from Bash Sisters last week. I, I think they're on an upswing. Athletes is just a tough team, though. Um, we, we have seen they they have four. You know, pretty much every week they they have four very strong players. Um, a lot depends on if uh, Isabella's in. She's been struggling lately. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean. We'll just have to get in and see what what happens. Yeah, uh, let's just get into it. Super Bash Sisters versus the athletes. Yeah, um, Bash Sisters starting off with Daisy, nicknamed Day C, um, running attack two, defense two, support three, great fairy, Majora's Mask, Dixie AI, uh, versus Isabel, nicknamed Doom Pup, running attack two, defense five, Crate AI. Um, ooh, that. Create AI going for the, the fishing hook. We will see if if that does well against Daisy. Mm -hmm. um, and um, an interesting uh, pick for Super Bash Sisters. They're going to Dracula's Castle this week. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit of an interesting pick. I, I think some of it is you you've got the weird stairs on the on the right. And I think in the past, we have seen a couple of these characters struggle yeah. uh, with that. Um, yeah, but I, so I, far... I believe uh, uh, Me Brawler uh, has, has struggled with the stairs in the past. His recovery isn't the best. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I can see what they're uh, going for. We'll see if it pays off. Because it is yeah. a very interesting uh, layout that they haven't tried before. Yeah. Um, and after a strong... Oh. oh. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the thing. That's the Great Fairy activated. Yep, Great Fairy activated. But I was going to say, like, after a strong lead from Daisy, Isabella brought it back to even and has now taken a lead uh, damage-wise um, over Daisy. Oh, but the up smash takes Daisy. out Isabel, uh, and Super Bash right. sisters take the character lead. Uh, we'll see yeah. uh, if Daisy is able to get any extra credit onto Terry, who is on a new build this week. Yeah, Terry, nicknamed Gero, running attack two, defense two, support three, gold Mario, EV AI. Um, and oh, Daisy boy. gets her final smash off. Uh, Terry is going to be asleep for a little bit, but she needs to go down there and get uh, the rest oh, of the... Oh, she got Oh, two. she didn't get the third one, but she got two. That's 40 healing uh, compared to only yeah. two, 20 healing for Terry. Yeah, she, she got two of them. Um, that's going to be critical to giving her time to give another... No, yeah, she yeah, still got them up for... Yeah, she got she got him up to over forty. That's that's good. But uh, if if she had gotten that third one, she might have gotten him up to over, you know, sixty or better. Oh, she would have just because he would, he'd be at sixty four now. Yes. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, Dark Samus, nicknamed Neurism, running attack three, support four, Celebi, uh, Gigas AI. Uh, hopefully this works out. Like I, I don't. Uh, Terry has been very aggressive. I'm not sure how that will play out against a defensive AI. Yeah, although it might be harder, on, might be weirder on this stage where there's not as many places to run. Yeah. Um, that, that's like the one downside with these Ooh, matches. Oh, oh no! Oh Ta no! Taken that... out by the, uh, taken out by the Buster Wolf. Yeah. Uh, as the Final smash I, hits. I mean, we are right up against the wall. I don't think this will kill, though, because thank goodness this isn't a walk-off stage. Kill. Yeah. Yeah, thank goodness this isn't a walk-off stage. Otherwise, Zero Suit Samus would be dead. But, I mean, uh, Terry getting in the damage on Samus and Zero okay. Suit Samus. Uh, uh, ZSS Zero, manages to take Terry out. Yeah, Zero Suit Samus got, got the kill. She is running a uh, nicknamed Orchid. Attack 5, support 2, Howard Blathers AI. Mega Man, nicknamed X, running attack four, support three, Polar Bear, Might, EV, AI. Um, yeah, I mean, last week she did amazingly comboing uh, dash attacks into grabs uh, with her up throw. Uh, this week she won't be able to do that because she's been going up against these armor characters. 
Uh, and she won't be able to use her paralyzer either. It will have no effect. Yeah. Um. She she's she's gonna struggle here. That being said, she's still gonna be able to put a lot of damage on them. Like we've already seen her get Mega Man up to a uh, hundred damage, which uh, honestly, like given how how problematic Mega Man Ooh. has been for a lot of people, that might almost be more. No. What you want. Oh, oh no. she needed to get that final smash. Yeah, that, she, that, so that final that final smash would have been critical. Um, but in comes. Uh, Byleth, a nickname Miss Hottie, running attack four, support three, polar bear, might, crate AI. And uh, okay. Hey, hey, oh, Byleth? Hey, hey, Byleth? Byleth? Why? Byleth? Why? Hey, hey, Byleth? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, Byleth? Why? You were Byleth? out. Why'd you do that? <laughs> it, I, I, why? All right, well, she just needs to okay, connect with, Okay, she connects with the forward there and takes go. out Mega Man. And that, we are going back to Dracula's castle, but... Yeah, uh, Byleth should not have this much damage on her. She should be at 30. Yeah, basically. What? I mean... Okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, we, we, we just need to... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. e even match. Uh, By Byleth is, is getting oh. some good damage onto uh, Me Brawler. Uh, what yep, is Me Brawler me running? Me Brawler is running a uh, nickname Iori, running attack five to support to Halberd Create AI. Um, honestly, I will say Byleth keeping it even. Uh, the funny thing is that Halberd is probably why Byleth is doing so well, just from the loss of speed. Mm -hmm. um, uh, pl plus, uh, Byleth uh, was able to do a lot of damage just by standing next to the wall and using side special because it hits above the wall, which means uh, Me Brawler didn't have. Uh, as many opportunities, like you can see, like he can't go down to approach, he has to approach from above, uh, which yep. makes him and vulnerable to the side special. Yeah, and I mean, Byleth is just getting the better of him. But, um, I uh, don't... Oh, she has her final oh, smash. No, this... uh, here comes the uh, JPEG. Uh, if, she uses if, if, it. If, if she uses it, this this will kill. And honestly, I would use it if I was, if I was Byleth. Oh, so the JPEG oh. connects. The JPEG connects. Here comes your ibuprofen. Yep. And, there, and, and here comes uh, Me Gunner. Yep, in comes Me Gunner, nicknamed Doom Guy, running attack 5, defense 2, EV AI. Um, if I'm Byleth, just put get that damage on there. Like, don't don't try anything fancy. Just do the basic stuff to hit, get get damage. Yes. And, I, uh, I, 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 oh my I, I, goodness! I Already taken Me Gunner up to seventy percent. Up to ninety. Oh, um, I, I do want to say I, I do like. Uh, we started off with Doom Pup is Isabel, and we end with Doom Guy Me Gunner. Mm -hmm. um, and here comes Death end. to herald the end of Me Gunner. Wow! Super Bash Sister is taking a dominant second win. Uh, once Very again, not needing their last character. Yeah. Um. Although I will say, like with what we have seen from Rosalina it, it, in the past, it, if Rosalina had been fourth, we would have still seen Byleth. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, congratulations, Super Bash Sisters, on getting out of the red zone. Um, I know this has to be a serious morale boost for you guys to to get out uh, after mm -hmm. having struggled for quite a while. And I'm glad to see y'all y'all's changes are bearing fruit. Yeah. Um. A very very good. Uh... Uh, for Super Bash just bringing things together, the stage picks have been on point. Th this week with uh, uh, Dracula's Castle, uh, obviously no one got really stares uh, on the opponent team, but just the the uh, minutia of the walls uh, reaching up was huge for Byleth. That 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 allowed her to completely destroy any attempts at uh, uh, the Mies to approach her because they just couldn't get past the wall. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and yeah. I mean, the the map just came in huge. Um, Byleth was honestly the, the the you know the Byleth was clearly the MVP. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, I I think you can say like we we've seen such improvement from Daisy from yeah. I would honestly even say the Samuses. You know, they they might have. I I, I think they struggled a little bit just due to who they fought this week and. Just because of all the armor, but just 
just because of the arm. But honestly, even despite that, like we saw Zero Suit Samus take take Mega Man up to a hundred damage and then some, um, just it, with a very strong performance. And Zero Suit Samus, like there were a couple times I thought she was going to get the kill on Terry. <laughs> she she still did great. Like I I think. If I'm Bash Sisters, I'm still looking at Zero Suit Samus and Dark Samus as very much improved characters. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if I'm athletes, like, that's... I I think it just... It was the map. Like, we, we saw... If that had been a flat map, me, Brawler, would have probably destroyed Byleth. Yeah. I, I, um, I mean, and we were we were seeing like how, how much better uh, athletes were performing on their home map. So, oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe look at the. I mean, if anything, I do think it is worth looking at at moving Halberd to someone other than me, Brawler. Like it, it just well, that that like... was new for me, Brawler this week. I will note. Okay. Uh, in previous weeks, he had Gold Mario, and, and uh, yeah. Terry had Halberd. Yeah, like m maybe look at. Uh, I would almost consider putting me Gunner on Halberd. Like me, me Gunner is generally your your zone control person. Um, but yeah, and I, I will say uh, Isabel did better this week too. That that's also an, a, a good thing yeah. for for athletes. Like she she did good. She still pushed Daisy up. She still probably did 150 damage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but um, on to the next match, the final match. Yeah. In fact, last match of the night. Yay! Let's go. Yes, and match six is Team Excalibur versus Team Arsenal. Uh, the Eternal Rivals, Sword versus Guns. And uh, this is a little bit of a rich match, I would say. Just a, just a little. Um... We, we, we only had uh, 20 coins spent on this match. Mm -hmm. 21, you know. <laughs> um, both teams really wanting a win. Excalibur to stay out of the red zone and Arsenal to, to drag Excalibur into the red zone because with Super Bash Sisters winning, uh, Arsenal is guaranteed in the red zone this week. Mm -hmm. But you know if they can drag someone else in there with them i mean i i i would i would still be get a huge morale boost from just getting a win yeah and i will point out that excalibur is uh two and two with 16 ko's they are currently the uh the lowest ko's i mean obviously now that everyone's gone but even before before this week they were uh the lowest ko's of everyone of everyone with uh two and two uh records so if they lose here uh, they would be below a lot of teams. Yeah. And, I mean, is it Arsenal? I want to say, like, even though they've had, they've not had the wins, they, they have, uh, Excalibur had 16 KOs, Arsenal has 14. Yeah. Um, again, like we talked about earlier tonight, like, just, just the, having the, the KOs can be so important. Um, because of tiebreakers and Arsenal like they're, they're, they're they struggled to get those KOs a little but I mean they're, they're still at 14 they're, they're not yeah. trailing behind far and it, if they can spend some coin to get those KOs it is worth it mm -hmm. but uh, I guess we'll get into what each team spent their coin on in the match yeah so uh, let's get into it. Yeah, uh, Excalibur versus Arsenal. Excalibur starting with Cloud, nicknamed Terry, running attack four, defense one, support two, Halberd, create AI, Arsenal starting Rob, nicknamed Rob, uh, running attack four, support three, gold, Mario, create AI. So we'll, we'll start with the first obvious, the, we'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and read off the funkiest spend. Uh, Excalibur spent eight coins to turn off, turn off Stage Morph. Uh, Team Arsenal spent 14, 13 coins to hire Lucas as a mercenary and to double bench Min Men. Yes. Holy and, crap! And uh, Duck Hunt is also benched. Uh, wow, that's a yep. lot of damage onto Rob very quickly. I uh, okay. I look uh, away for 
less than 10 seconds, and Rob was up to 100 damage. Yeah, uh, Rob, this Gold Mario is not going to be very effective anymore, and he is gone. Nope. How, how did... I mean, he, he hit him. He hit him with his attacks, yeah. his side smash. His, I mean, I, uh, I, side I beam, guess yeah. that's what happens when you have attack four and halberd. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, oh, wow, was, look at Falco putting in the work to bring things back. Yeah, Falco. With his I incredibly mean, fast combos. Uh, what is Falco running? Yeah, Falco is running attack 5, defense 1, support 1, might, blathers, AI. Oh, and the army oh. slash misses. Uh, Fal Falco, yeah. that, that is very good. Falco did, did not want that to hit. But he's taken out by the limit. Uh, Blade Beam. Good lord. Uh, oh, and running. that's why they hired him. Yep. Uh, Lucas uh, coming in, running attack 4, defense 2, support 1, Victini, Tifa, AI. In comes Lucina, nicknamed B. Janet. Uh, running attack three, defense one, support three, Azura, Goligan, create AI. Just don't, I mean, Lucas has gotten his, he's been using his uh, smash attacks, but he hasn't been hitting with them on Lucina, and he's taken out. Yeah, uh, in comes Wolf, uh, nicknamed Wolf, running attack three, support four, Celebi, Gigas, AI. Um, yeah, I mean, just a rough matchup, like Cloud just coming out swinging with those KOs. It's going to be really hard for, for Wolf to bring this back. Yeah, I think with a good smash attack, Wolf should be able to take out... Uh, he, he does take some damage, but he should be able to take out Lucina without taking too much more. Ideally. I, I don't... Yeah, I mean, ideally? Okay, maybe? No, oh, and Lucina's no. got the final smash! She misses! She misses. I mean, that, that was critical. Wolf needs to get some space. He needs to, number one, get the kill now. Like, he can't just hit her with these light hits he's been focusing on. Um, uh, why did I mean, not kill? I, I mean, it's just a forward tilt, but there it goes. The dash attack takes out Lucina. Wolf is uh, at 60 damage fighting Sora. Yeah, and Sora coming in running attack 3, support 4, Celebi, create AI. A um, lot of healing here. Uh, Wolf needs to be much more uh, aggressive than he has been. I mean, he's on Gaga's AI, thing. so aggression isn't really the name of the game. Fair. Um, and you know he's managed to bring uh, stay stay at fifty damage and bring uh, Sora up over fifty, and he connects the final oh, smash. We are right at the wall, but Sora is only that, at sixty damage. But he is also a lightweight. He is very light. That might kill at the it end. It does, and uh, Wolf and, has evened up the stocks. Yeah, Wolf evening up the stocks. In comes Pyra, nicknamed Hotaru, uh, running attack one, defense three, support three, goal Mario, Lindus AI. Um, this could work out either way, like, uh, that... <laughs> okay, just, you uh, can't just hold shield, you gotta do something else. Because <laughs> she yeah. is gonna grab you if you do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, but still, he's taking the lead. Taking the lead, and I mean, it, all, all he needs to do is keep healing, keep keep your distance, take, you know, get in your, your pot shots every now and again, your damage is gonna stick. Uh, Pyra's will not, um... And yeah, there you go. Uh, Wolf still having managed to uh, even things up for his team. Yeah, ideally for his team, he'll be able to take out Pyra here. That would be a massive boon if it, if uh, K. Roll only has to deal with uh, Sephiroth. It, it would. Um, I don't know I mean, if he will, because uh, uh, especially it's since be they're getting close to their final smash. Oh, but he does. Oh, the he back does. throw takes out Mithra. And if you can get some extra credit on Vox Reapy, uh, who is yep. uh, uh, yep. the uh, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Yeah, Sephiroth, the next name, Vox Reaper, uh, uh, running Defense 4, Support 3, Polar Bear might uh, create AI. Oh, and he hits with the final oh, smash. And he hits with I the don't think smash. this will kill center stage, but it will do decent damage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that won't kill, but I mean, the, the damage is going to stick. The, the more damage that sticks, the better for King K. Rule when he comes in. Um, <laughs> Wolf, is, Wolf has just been carrying this match for, for Arsenal. He, he has. Like, that Celebi is working. Oh, my working. goodness. Wow. Wow. That, that killed early. Man. 
And a 4KO performance from Wolf. Wow. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's surprising. King uh, King of Fighters Stadium is usually not considered a great stage for uh, Gygus AI Selvi uh, characters because there's not as many places to run, but Wolf made it work. He just was not getting hit. Yeah, he, he made it work. Um, and I mean, he... he I don't know how he did it, but he made it work, and he carried his team to a very strong victory. Um, congratulations to Arsenal. We now no longer have any teams without a win. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't. I, I know it still sucks for you guys to still be in the red zone, but uh, Excalibur might be joining. Like, I'm not sure it, how... I mean, Excalibur will have 19 KOs, KOs after this. Which is tied with Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal will also have 19 KOs after this week. So yeah. if Arsenal, uh, like our Arsenal, can pass uh, Excalibur uh, next week potentially, especially since they're you know they have the tiebreaker win. Yeah, I mean it. It's gonna be close. Like I'm not sure if Excalibur is in the red zone with 19 KOs. Um, I mean, well, well, right now it's uh, third wheels and Arsenal because third wheels lost. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Third Wheels is, is right there because they had four KOs. So, yeah, Third Wheels and Arsenal. But, I mean, Arsenal's now got the tie. You know, they, they've got the KO lead over them. They are no longer in last place. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're Arsenal, that's got to be a massive morale boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. but um, that is going to be it uh, for this week's uh, matches. A lot of... Uh... A lot of interesting underdog wins this week. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, Phalanx is still undefeated. We'll see if they're able to keep that undefeated streak for longer. Uh, but, um... Yeah, and, but uh... Gonna, and, uh, the battle for week. the, uh... Yeah, it's been a good week, and the battle for the red zone just got a lot more interesting. That it did. But that, it has been a great week, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Uh, bye, everyone. Later.